What's up? I'm the VS chick and today I'm going to show you what I go camping with. Um, hopefully you'll find it really interesting. <laughs> anyway, so what I might do is I'll take everything out of the bags and then I'll show you how I put them onto my bike too. So. What's all this? This is my camp gear. Camping gear. All of this fits on your bike. Crazy, hey? That's unreal. Mm. Walk me through it. What do you got? What do you take? Okay. I'm going to start with this chair that I've just been sitting on. All right. This is a great chair. You, you could dismantle it down to almost nothing. Like so. This is actually one of the best buys, I reckon. You could have somewhere comfy to sit and you've got to have somewhere comfy to sleep. Don't you reckon? Yeah, I agree. But it comes in its own little bag. This is a cool pillow. Pillow. Check this out. This was one of the first mistakes I made as well. So I got this super cheap pillow. $2 from Kmart. Inflatable and it was so uncomfortable. It was, it, I'm still rocking it. It's terrible. But you've got to have a good night's sleep, otherwise it's like, ew. This is awesome, but. Yeah, this sounds wicked. So this is like all got um, recy recycled um, foam and crap in there. Mm. Then you just roll it up. Squish it, roll it up. I mean, it does not doesn't go down really super tight, but hey, this is space I'm willing to um, give up for the sake of comfort. Okay, the next thing is this towel. I can't actually remember where I got this from. Came up. Came up. But yeah, it actually packs up pretty. Um, pretty small, so. Anyway, that's a towel. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. I think this was like from Kmart, $9. Um, and it's like a double blanket and you gotta be warm. This was the Wanderer, um, but I actually, it was like this thin. It was very uncomfortable. Uh, and I replaced it with this cheapo, generic $7.50 one. And it fits in the same thing anyway. So what's the point? I bought the other one because it was smaller, but it just packs up just a small And anyway. you need a... Pretty sure this is about $39, maybe. I did a, um, a mod a little while ago. So this was, yeah, just to charge my phone and also this is pretty much the reason why I got it. Yeah, so now you can inflate a mattress and you can inflate one for me too, thanks. Sleeping bag. Got this from eBay, probably a little bit too small, but you unzip it and you just use it as a blanket. And I've got this big thing anyway, so it's gonna be fine. This is my tent. This is like my second tent because my first tent was a one man tent and it was not very fun for one man. It was pretty tiny. It was almost like half a man. <laughs> This is a three person tent, but it's really awesome because it's got this bag that comes with it. You just stuff it all in, basically. Roll it up, stuff it all in, and then roll it back it up, back up again. Um, tent poles, everything's in there. And then you've got these straps to tighten them up too. So, packs down pretty good. I got this online somewhere, but I can't quite remember where. But yeah, 50 liters. You can get them at um, BCF. It's got, um, like, so this is the dry bag, chuck stuff in, roll it up, and it's like fully awesome. Waterproof. Yeah, <laughs> next thing I've got is, I've got a whole heap of <laughs> these ropes. You can never have too many ropes, I reckon, and you can never have too many tarps. These are called guy ropes? Yeah, I thought they were guide ropes, but they're not, they're like guy, like, yo, what's up guy? Yeah, that's so strange. Like, why? I don't know. Somebody in the comments can tell us why. Yeah. This is a really cool purchase. This is instead of taking an esky, because an esky is very hard to pack onto a bike because it's rigid. Whereas this one is, um, is like soft. <laughs> you can wear it as a backpack. You can fit quite a bit of stuff in there. Um, it's cooler bag stuff. So our plan, because we're going like this weekend, is to just pack it on the bike, don't really take anything in there. Um, and then we're gonna just go and do a day trip to a nearby town, fill it up with goodies, carry it back on our back like a bag. 
this fishing rod. <laughs> it has caught a fish. I have caught a fish. Um, this is cool. I like taking this with me. Um, it extends out to a full size. This is a gift. Thank you. This well. is a dry bag from Kmart. I think it was like 12 bucks. 20 litre. Like I've literally packed my clothes because I'm ready to go. My laundry bag. So dirty clothes go in there. And it doesn't stink out the rest of your stuff. Yeah, so I've got like this bag. Charges. It's got my charger. And then, oh yeah. And then this one's for cables. I also have this groovy light. Whoa, that's bright. Light goes in there. I've got my chargers, I've got all my GoPro stuff. That just goes in there. This is my charging thing. Battery charger. I don't even know what it's called. It's a portable charger. Oh my God, this is the best thing ever, right? This is the most recent. Literally just post. bought this yesterday, I think it was. Yeah. Um, this is like, so you can, park your bike and put your stand on it so that it doesn't soak into the wet ground or like soft ground so just gives you something this sturdy awesome. to rest yeah. the bike on yep and i can't remember how much the shad <laughs> thing was i've got a video on that check it out link in description this is the kitchen area <laughs> um i've got a spare gas bottle i've got my bowls and stuff these are awesome i got these from Kmart as well. Got like a knife, fork, and spoon on there. All right, here we go. So they actually come apart, and you've got a knife and fork. How cool is that? So this is my. I've got another gas thing in there. Just sits in there. This is the stove. Just packs away. Easy. All right, got this light for inside the tent. This was like two dollars, I reckon, from yeah, maybe um, a dollar. <laughs> Then I've got, yeah, toiletries. Got these little bottles from like the cheap shop. I can't quite remember how much they were. Shampoo and dishwashing liquid and stuff. This is my coffee machine. This is awesome. Mini presso. Got my coffee pods and stuff here. Um, I just use Ziploc bags because then just chuck it out and you don't have to worry about bringing containers yeah, okay. here. Um, this is cool. This is deadly. Need a hammer to hammer in your pegs. Super um, small chopping board. And I've got these mossy things. It's like mozzie wipes. Got a whole heap of them for, I don't know, like a couple of bucks. I've got like a little um, fishing kit and a ball because you gotta have some entertainment. So I got this table. Oh, I can't actually remember how much the table costs. So this is a wanderer. It folds up in half. And, From BCF. Um, yeah. That's pretty much all my camping gear. Um, and then I just pack most of that stuff in that bag. Yep. And then the other stuff, yeah, it gets packed into the panniers. So I'm going to pack it away now. You going to do a time lapse? Yeah, I might do a time lapse. I'll be packing it onto the bag. Apparently it was this quick. I was actually pretty quick. Super quick. So all I need to tie down is the bag, the cooler bag and then the table. So um, the way that I do it is I use two straps. <clears throat> These straps came from BCF as well. Oh yeah, they were like, oh, how much? Eight bucks a piece. All right, I put this down, squishy side first. But I'm gonna tie these up so that they don't come loose. I don't want anything going into the wheels. And I put the table on. All right, make sure it's centered. Okay. So tuck some of this away, if you can. So now, grab these babies over the top. Make sure that they don't get um, like tangled or anything like that. Yeah, 
I'm like actually super proud of the fact that um, we can get this much stuff from the bikes. It's such an awesome feeling. Yeah. Well, I just got like saddlebags for the Rebel yesterday. Yeah. So hopefully that makes loading my bike up a bit easier. Yeah, that's so cool. So before you like super make them super tight, the thing I always check is like underneath here. That, yeah, see how this one's under there? This one's come out. So I just make sure. I mean, it's different for everybody's bike, but I always have it on that part. Probably about there. And then around the back. Now that's still fine there. And then, yeah, I just tie this, tie it off. Make sure there's no dangly bits. Oh, I forgot the most important thing. What? Oh. Oh. So yeah, what I usually do, I mean, I'm gonna have to take this off anyway, but what I do is I just pop that through underneath there and pop that through underneath there. And then you've got some tape on the end of it, so yeah, it um, doesn't yeah. fall apart or anything. Whenever I stop, I just make sure that I just give it a good wiggle and just make sure nothing's coming loose. Um, but yeah, that's surprising how much stuff you can actually fit on there. So that was everything that was shown before. Yep. Like this is pretty much it. I mean, I could use, um, you know, the net, whatever, cargo net thing, whatever you call it. Um, and then if I wanted to put like a cap or thongs or something underneath, I could do that as well. But I mean, I honestly don't really need it. I've got pretty, I've got everything that I need, and that's easy. Love it. So yeah, um, pretty pumped with my little setup. Um, you'll see all of this in action. So we're actually heading off to Woodgate and doing like a big camping trip. So I'm gonna be using all this stuff. <laughs> all right, that's it. That's all I got. Like, subscribe, catch you on the next one. Bye. Oh, I did get a new bike. Do you want to see it? It's amazing. Wait, 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 wait. You wait here, I'll go grab it. Wait. <laughs> I'm ready. Here's my new bike. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. New wheels. Um, very quiet exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so.